Every so often you hear about some hot rising news star in the music business coming out of St. Louis. And each one of them has a story. Who introduced them to the music? Who challenged them? Who inspired them? And in fact, that sort of thing is going on in St. Louis each and every day. And that's what our first two stories are about tonight. In the kingdom of jazz, Freddie Cole is royalty. A member of a musical family that includes the late Nat King Cole, Freddie Cole has been a star in his own right for decades with his graceful, seemingly effortless interpretation of jazz standards and newer tunes. St. Louis area fans pack jazz at the bistro to see Cole perform when he's in town. But you can also find him in front of less sophisticated audiences at less formal venues. This is Garfield Elementary School in Normandy. Before this event, many of the youngsters here probably never heard of Freddie Cole. But Jazz at the Bistro wants to change that through its Whitaker Jazz Education Collaborative. Thanks to funding from the Whitaker Foundation, Jazz at the Bistro sends artists who perform at the club to area schools. We do elementary, junior high, high school, and uh, even college. Each different presentation is suited, geared towards those students. And it's great to have uh, exposure to kids when they're that young, because at that time they don't have a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, preferences that uh, come out a little bit later when they're trying to establish themselves. So they're a lot more open for uh, all kinds of music. And I think that uh, by exposing them, it's going to stick with them for a long time. And the musicians are really, really excited about uh, the opportunity to go in and help to expose the music to uh, students who perhaps didn't have any exposure before. Freddie Cole was younger than most of the kids here at Garfield when he started playing piano. His formal training as a young adult included studies at Juilliard and the New England Conservatory of Music. Whether a child wants to grow up to be a musician or not, Cole believes all children should be exposed to some form of music education. Out of that whole group, you know, there may be just one or two, but there will be some musicians to come out of that group. We were saying how uh, good it was to see that they were very familiar and they had a good feeling for, for you know, for the rhythm. And uh, because that's, that's one of the hardest things to teach. If you would like to ask a couple of questions, uh, we will be happy to try to answer them. What you want here? Huh? Yeah, that's a bass violin, that's what it is. What's the most surprising question you've got? Well, one kid asked me today, and it kind of stumped me, he said, what is jazz? And you have to stop and think long and hard about it, because what is jazz? You know, it's an art form, a musical art form that was originated here in America. And uh, it's known all over the world. It's respected all over the world. But you don't get the due respect that it deserves right here in America. Yes, we go all over the world playing jazz. Jazz at the Bistro's outreach takes on added importance in light of reduced government funding for schools and increasingly tight school budgets. You have your reading, your writing, your math, but art is an integral part too because we need to expose our students to these types of things, uh, visual arts, performing arts, they need a full rounded education. We would love to see the program expand, we'd love to go into more schools as we bring in more artists, uh, even if we're going to bring them in for a couple of days. In addition to exposing young people to this genre of music, the outreach serves another purpose that is crucial to Jazz at the Bistro's survival, cultivating future audiences. They're going to get older one day. They're not going to stay in the sixth and seventh grade. And, you know, and if they can develop some kind of love for jazz or, or, or 
their ears can be open to it, we're definitely going to get some of them, you know, to start being jazz fans.